well, here we are. Just, uh... Oh, jeez, everything's upside down. Oh, I know. I... Okay, no problem. Yeah, just finished grocery shopping, so there you go. Just like I said, um... Wear your shirt. Make a shirt up and wear it. Or buy one. Okay, super value. This isn't an endorsement of super value, but what are you going to do, eh? They actually used to be not too bad until, like, every Monopoly. Yeah. You get the picture, and there's the groceries. Dogs my witness. Guys, did I wear the shirt in? So, there you go. No GMOs. Label G genetically modified food. Okay. Simple. Simple. Okay, and then you don't get your ass sued off when all these people show up with digestive disorders and <coughs> cancers and all, all kinds of things that are going to come back on your grocery stores as the vendor and on the produce finder. See, this is the finer edge of Agenda 21. It's called Absolute Out-and-Out -out Kinetic Warfare. No strings barred. Because we can only hold the courts that we've stolen for so long before the people revolt. And in the meantime, we want to bankrupt everything and buy it up for a penny on the 100000 when it comes to foreign lands. And if they can make you people kill one another in the meantime, well, you know, all the better for their profits. Because with corporations, it's all about the bottom line. So... What do we say? No GMOs. Right? Peace out. Right? You guys like GMOs? No. No, but we get it in our dog food. Yeah. Because our, our human's a loser and he, he, he can't afford better. Broken down stomach surgery loser. Okay, I know. <clears throat> Mine was... The, the bulk of my problems were almost certainly from... Cessium 134 and some pork that was imported from Japan. But, as I keep saying, plausible deniability is their main game plan. So you throw that in, and then, well, in my case, a little bit of uranium oxide water, this and that, you know, a little uranium in the food from everywhere. How are you going to prove that? See the plan? Okay. Okay, farmers, get to it. That's the same way you're going to bankrupt Monsanto. Two can play at that game. They didn't leave you with any choice. Okay, but quit working against yourselves and setting precedences by getting some shifty-eyed lawyer that's easily bought up to throw the case and set precedence. Okay? Now, I told you guys back in 2003 at the Cinnaboyan Park Seed Swap in, in, in Winnipeg, I told you about this, and I warned you. Well, three years later, you finally start rolling out. Not with class action lawsuits, because, like, where are you going to find a Masonic judge that would okie-dokie a class action lawsuit, right? You started with individual lawsuits, and then you hired lawyers that would throw the case and set a precedent, because they're in it for the money. They don't give a fuck about you or anything but their money, okay? They're just like little corporations, sort of. All about the bottom line. Make them go broke. They won't have the money to fuck you around. And you might survive. If not, at least you'll go down saying you tried. Hey. Okay? That's right. Okay? I think Gator's going to make a speech, no? No. Great. Right. That's it.